we got to get some better lighting. Sorry about that here. Uh, here. I was looking at how that Mars, because, you know, I'm the Mars ruled person. I'm going to talk to us about Mars. When it moves into Libra, it happens to conjunct the South Node. South Node has kind of been sitting quiet uh, because that's its nature. It's the past life uh, karmas and subconscious worries. And when, if, see, my intu now I'm going to think with us a little bit and uh, do a little bit of intuitive astrology because I am an intuitive astrologer um, doing enough academic study to, to study to begin to know how to mix my own um, chemistry up with that and see and, and really it's astounding to, to hear um, hear that against uh, not against but say it's like you know oh yeah it's um, just it's resonating with others other depictions but boy did you get through that uh, Mars conjunct south node is, is karmic having with to do, do with uh, relationships libra matters and with the south node you know libra needs to learn libra needs to ease up on their relationships um their toxic relationships that's the it rules relationships so what, what um as a whole humanity needs to learn is to, to let go of those toxic relationships it rules looking at our relationships in such a way that is kind of set aside like the lawyer or the um not necessarily the ones that are getting married because that's more like gemini the two but libra the trine going forward and the forward trine it rules the uh the oneness of love that, that, that is love and so now um but see that the, the the lesson for the libra is well what did you um meld with there well generally babes the lesson for humanity has been of course um, stay away from the non-human and or narcissist boy so it, what comes up to me, what flashes before my eyes, and I'm going to be able to um, articulate it, we have to, how it's intertwined with our resources and our, our monies. And um, human energy, literally, the use of it, is it being paid enough, or is it just pacifying those that are getting paid to do the non-human work. This is what I'm seeing. It's like, okay, so, so, um, I don't know. Just l let's set that up, uh, palette aside. I do not, um, sit good with the subject matter of the, the, the men and women thing. That needs to, to, um, blend into more just the, the more, uh, superior than the both of them, which is, being purely aware, be, become aware of, and that's really just like, okay, so what do we need to do to adapt here, boy? So what's happened is, it's already happened, Shauna, haven't you noticed? Well, I think money has been a buffer to allow a, a better association between the non-human and the human uh, presence here, like we're here sharing resources and, but money is here to, it was, it was to, you know, because it seems like that, um, when you really look at it, money is causing, causing, um, is allowing, um, people to just shine each other on because they well they have to pay their bills and they're trying to meet a goal or something and, and that goal of just money itself being priority rather than um a good association you know a relationship and now we this even includes our work the workplaces uh, that's 
with Mars um, going into Libra. I imagine it agitates all conjuncting the south node. It, it's going to be a kind of an agitator of all that issue. If there's issues at all, it's just going to start amplifying. You know, either it's going to amplify um, the, the polarized um, situation. You know, like if, if you're happy at your job, then it's just more of a of an aggressive um, structuring around what is that thing that you need to do to maintain that harmony, per perhaps. But to, no, I think that um, the, the Mars conjunct south node has everything to do with, with swirling around and that, like really stirring up the old, unprocessed toilet bowl of the, um, like, how did we get here in the first place? Uh, you know, um, if people are are living in self-denial, that's where Mars is just going to show it's a steaming pot now kind of thing. Really, I mean, I would I would imagine, you know, that's that's the, the um, and also see with, with just Mars alone going in Libra, that's going to spark people. See, with it having been in Virgo. We see a lot of things that needs to be cleaned up, and, and everybody's being lazy about it. But once Mars goes into Libra, it kind of, you think it gets more lazy, but really it's just kind of like, uh, it just kind of kicks the dirt and says, okay, I'll do it, and I'm going to do it, do it the right thing. And it's not necessarily because um, the sneaky thing about Libra is that it's co-ruled by Saturn, and so Mars and Saturn, when they get together like that, they, they just do the grind that a lot of people wouldn't do um, usually because they're not disciplined enough, and they don't know that, that, that when you, you do, you have to do that to get to a better place. So anyway, we're going to try and get to the better place. Uh, regarding our relationships, babes, uh, um, Libra is stuck in, a, in that. With the, with the south node there, if it's conjuncting any of your planets early degree, you're being stuck with that. It's kind of like, um, and I do have an early degree sun, so I'll be the first one to tell you. It's like, try to conduct. You know, I'm looking at the silver lining all the time. It's like, well, not every relationship is perfect, and, and don't hang on to something that's not feeling good. Um, make it work for you and make sure that you're not being selfish. See, this is the thing about now we have Aries and the, the North Node in Aries, which, um, if you're in Aries, you know, that's that's the thing. It's like you want your independence and everything, but make sure you're not being selfish. And really what, what it is, is like the North Node in Aries, babe, that's a really great time for us. Right now we're finally busting up. Out. Joy is possible. Please understand that, that some of the stuff that I'm doing, even though there's some squares to my moon and it's looking terrible here, <laughs> I think, you know, um, these videos, none of them should be put up, you know what I mean? But here I am putting them up. <laughs> but really, um, it's just because I, I want to give to people something through, if they're not feeling um, as... Um, Maybe maybe it's a refreshment of some sort. I don't know. I'm still doing that. Happy full moon in Pisces, which is the Saturn, and and, and conjunct the moon in Pisces happens to be um, conjunct my Jupiter, and uh, I would love to to be part of the new church that opens up that that understands some of what I'm saying. Let's let's pull that up to the light and create a stained glass window out of it. 